Hello everyone and welcome back to Kitchen Instruments. Now today, well today's a bit of a special episode because I'm actually going to be answering a question that uh, some of my viewers have been asking me for a long time and it actually stems from a different question that I get asked about 50 times a day. Now the question I get asked a lot is what do chefs typically make themselves after they get done working a long shift because you know some of these shifts can go quite a while. Um, you know, you're, you're cooking all day and sometimes you're in the kitchen for, you know, 10, 11, 12, 15 hours plus. So um, when you get home finally, uh, what is it that chefs like to eat? Now the quick answer to that is nothing spectacular. Typically when, when chefs get home, they're, they're not really interested in making like five-star cuisine. Most times they just want like a sandwich or, you know, a bowl of cereal, Taco Bell, basically garbage. We, we eat garbage. Okay, in all seriousness, at the end of the day, chefs just want something that's going to be quick, easy, something that's going to just tick all the boxes, just fill you up and make you feel satisfied after, after working a long day and just sweating your ass off in the kitchen. But what's interesting now is I recently got a question that kind of stems off that one. And that question was, do you have any go-to recipes if you're coming home from a long day? What do you eat? personally. So I kind of just thought, hey, you know what, why not share that with you guys? And that's exactly what I'm going to do today. I'm going to show you guys uh, one of my go-to recipes, something I like to eat uh, on the fly. Okay, so I'm going to warn you, this recipe is a little bit different, but I'll tell you what, for me, it ticks all the boxes. And if you're a fan of this particular type of recipe, I think you'll really enjoy it. I, it it's, it's a recipe you probably already know, but I like to put a couple of unique spins on it that for me, just take it to another level. So uh, without further ado, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Let's do this. fashion nutritious delicious tick all the boxes tuna salad now obviously you can eat this tuna salad any way you like to eat tuna salad you can put it on bread however you like it make a tuna melt whatever it's delicious me personally i like putting them on saltine crackers i think just the the little salt that's on top of them just adds that little flavor punch i know the cheddar cheese might throw a little bit off but um it's more of a an east coast thing but you know give it a go it really is quite delicious so thank you for stopping by guys and I'll see you next time.